These are definitely two guys we're going to want to keep our eyes on come Olympia time. Blessing, Awudibu. He is your New York Pro Champion. Now we have a Chicago Pro Champion in Antoine Vaillant. And these pitchers hot off the presses, NPC News Online. I was going to compare him with this guy and that guy, Antoine Vaillant. But I figured Blessing Awudibu... They're in the exact same lane. They're in the, you know, they're going to be in the same callouts come Olympia time. So it's a more realistic comparison. And actually, a pretty tough one for me to, you know, tell you guys which one's better. Front double bicep pose, honestly, realistically, could go either way. I have Blessing Awadibu with a slight edge because of that wow factor. Look at the small waistline, the lats, and the biceps, my soul. Now, Antoine, he admitted he doesn't have the three-dimensional type round muscles that some of the guys do. But he can win on conditioning. And he can, you know, you look at the adductors, things of that nature, pretty filled out for a uh, blessing. But Antoine, very conditioned. Winning in the calves as well. And yes, calves do matter, but not when it's overwhelming. Not when it's overwhelming. They are a muscle group though, so I definitely pay attention to them. Look at that midsection, that V-taper of blessing. When you go to the front lats, bread, obviously the V-taper is going to go to blessing. And this is a terrible picture of Antoine Vaillant. Look at it again, the adductors. Like I said, for Antoine, they might have been in better condition. But look at how much more filled out they are for blessing. Awadibu, what a terrible picture for uh, Antoine Vaillant. Definitely ripping him off because it's pan back, takes away the size, things of that nature. But I think it's a it's a saving grace that we can pretty, you know, we can rest assured that blessing. He's going to take the front lat spread. I mean, this is top top five on, Oli on the Olympia lineup for this pose. Turn to the side. Now, now. I honestly had two, two to nothing for blessing. And that can really overshadow your judgment but you gotta realize guys it's not just the front shots there's the side as well and Antoine is taking blessing when well, he's not taking him to school he's giving him a, a quick lesson I like the outer shape the the delts the nice nice silhouette for uh, Antoine and when you look at the wheels it's a knockout shot now this is a situation where calves do matter look at the calf difference there look how strong they are Back in the day, I'm telling you, they paid attention attention to that. They don't seem to anymore. Anyway, can be a tiebreaker. Can still be a tiebreaker. Side tricep. Same thing here, guys. It's debatable who's winning in the upper body. Maybe not the best for either gentleman. But I mean, hey, no, no, all bodybuilders have like a, a weaker shot. One that, that's not their best. So yeah, could go either way as far as the upper body. And the lower half really can be no argument definitely goes to Antoine Vaillant look at that guys calf included I get so excited with these younger guys coming up with good calves there's a couple of them I mean Antoine Vaillant uh, Quentin Uriah he's got a massive big set too who has the better back hmm hmm a little bit hard to size there was no calves they, they didn't show the calves for Antoine in the close-up shots I think, blessing, he has a better back. Look at the traps, guys. Much more three-dimensional. But when you look at the lower half, I think Antoine has it for sure. It's hard to really gauge and see. It looks like his legs are bigger from behind. From behind. Definitely more peeled. Much more separation and more conditioning gone into that, uh, the lower half. The back looks good for, uh, blessing now let's pan back here and have a, a fair comparison now blessings back it is better in my opinion when you look at the the v taper throw those delts in there he, he was accused of having something put in there that video did look suspicious but i mean anyway anyway if antoine's not putting anything in there it surely shows here the difference of delts of these guys wow definitely helps Lower half again, guys. This keeps Antoine really out of the hole from the hole well. Billy, find me a way to this hole. <laughs> this place is too hot for a pickup. The chapel won't touch us till we reach the border. 
Anyway, yeah. What was I saying? Yeah, condition much better. I'm telling you right now, for Antoine and the lower half, and if the judges are paying only attention to that, which they seem to sometimes, Antoine very well could get a victory against Blessing. Turn around. Keep in mind, guys, I'm a fan. I'm not a judge, so I throw a little ingredients of this, a little ingredients of a fan, what a fan would like, you know, if a fan likes big calves and aesthetics, then so be it. But anyway, anyway, this one could go either way. The abs, very diced, very shredded. I'll get you next time, shredded. Next time. That's uh, Dr. Claw? Shredder? Well, anyway, they were both bad guys. You ever notice bad guys from old cartoons always wore purple? No heart, too. All of them. But anyway, anyway, talked right through that because really, like I said, guys, it's a personal preference. Most muscular and this one... They, these guys are identical. Identical. There's some radical, radical, funky, wacky muscle, like vascularities. Papa! It's awesome. It's awesome. Mind blowing for Blessing Awadibu. But there is a solid, more thick, complete, maybe more conditioned muscle for uh, Antoine Vaillant. And this is a situation where most certainly you can take the calves into consideration. Because really, I am at a loss. Upper body's slightly different here and there, but basically the same condition, size, wheels as well. But when you look at the calves, that really is the only difference. Antoine Vaillant, massive, massive big set of calves. So yeah, it can be a tiebreaker. So who do I have winning this one? Well, this is a, a tricky one to say. If I say Antoine Vaillant wins, then you Blessing fans will say, where do you get off? And if I say Blessing wins... Well, Antoine Vaillant fans will be all over my case. So this one is definitely a situation where could go either way, guys. Definitely could go either way. Kind of setting siding towards Blessing Awadibu, but I think I'm being blinded because he was winning those first two shots. I think if the conditioning was what it seemed to be, and it seemed to be Antoine was a little bit better there from behind, if the judges see that, then they're going to give it to him. But you know what, guys? For the first time ever, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to see which one you guys think uh, who is better between these two dudes. And later on, I will tell you which one I voted for. Hit thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a good one.